In one of the seasons of the show alone, wolves surrounded the camp of one of the contestants. It was an eerie scene where a pack of, I think, five or six wolves were stationed in various places around the camp. It was a threatening situation. It was a reminder of the danger that contestants face when they're alone in the wild, but also a reminder of why, in the scriptures, wolves are the chosen metaphor for false prophets and for false teachers, because they are so dangerous, deadly. In fact, Jesus, at the end of the Sermon on the Mount, in Matthew chapter 7, says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. Or as Paul tells the elders in Ephesus, I know that after my departure, fierce wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. And from among your own selves will arise men speaking twisted things to draw away the disciples after them. It's a reminder to us that wolves have always faced the church, not just from the outside, but from the inside as well. And these false teachers, these false prophets, these wolves always proceed the same way. They don't simply say, hey, forget the Bible, forget the gospel, forget Jesus. No, they, they twist the scriptures. They give a false gospel, a false Jesus to try and lure people away from the saving truth. So let us ever commit ourselves anew to standing firm in the scriptures, in the true gospel, in the true Jesus, who alone can save. And let us pray that he ever keeps us faithful and safe from those who would draw us away from him who is the way, the truth, and the life.